Hello everybody and welcome back to the Bourbon Bar. I am Holden and today I'm going to be doing a review of a whiskey that I know all of you guys have heard of and that is High West's A Midwinter Night's Dram. Uh, I, I know I always used to get confused when I was reading this and I was like High West Midwinter's Night's Dram or A Midwinter Night Dram or A Midwinter Summer Winter's Day Evening Dram but it is High West A Midwinter's not winners. It's High West, a Midwinter Nights Dram. And this is a rye whiskey finished in port wine barrels. And this is basically High West's super allocated bottle that they put out every year. This is Act 10, Scene 1. But basically what they do is they take their uh, Rendezvous rye, I believe, and they finish it in port wine barrels. Now this year was their 10th year anniversary of the High West Midwinter Nights Dram. So what they did is they actually had two releases. One of them is a distillery only release. That was High West's Midwinter Nights Dram, the Encore. Um, I did not get my hands on that one, but I did get my hands on the normal release, High West Midwinter Nights Dram. This is Act 10, Scene 1, now. All you guys have to know is that this bottle was $150 and I really think it's important that you guys watch my review of this before you go out and buy one of these or before you pay that giant price tag of $150 because you know that's a lot of money for a bottle of whiskey but that being said we're gonna get right into this bottle now this has become a unicorn for a lot of people I know me in particular like I really wanted this bottle a lot and so I was looking every single day for it until I found it. And while I'm glad that I got it, there are some things that you guys should know before you buy it in case you may not like this whiskey. All right, everybody, so this bottle is 49.3% alcohol. That is 98.6 proof. And that's a pretty respectable proof for a rye whiskey finished in um, port wine barrels. But uh, we're gonna get it on the nose right away and let you guys know how it is on the nose. Oh my gosh. Honestly, it's so good, but it smells so much like wine. Um, God, that pour influence in there is very, very strong, but like in a good way. It's really complimenting the whiskey. You can definitely tell that this is a rye whiskey underneath that, underneath that pour barrel finish. But it's definitely got a little bit of like herbaceousness and a little bit of like um, some mulling spices in there. But overall, I'm getting an abundance of like plums and sweet red fruits from that port wine. And like honestly, port wine is like overtaking almost in this one, which I love port wine. So that's really cool for me. But uh, at least on the nose, this port wine is like very, very much carrying this bottle. Now, if you guys don't like port wine, uh, that may be something that turns you off, but personally, I actually drink a lot of wine, and I do like a lot of poor wine, um, so that's right up my alley, especially mixed with whiskey. Can't complain. But yeah, I'm getting some cinnamon, some clove in here. A little bit of, like, oak presence, which is really nice seeing an oak presence come through this much on, like, a rye whiskey. But I also get like a very nice abundance of like a caramel aspect in here, which I love. I love the caramel coming through in a lot of whiskeys, but in this one in particular, I really think that like it helps it along its journey because that caramel um, really helps with the super fruitiness coming from the port barrels. But that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get on the palate and let you guys know how it tastes. Okay, so there's a lot going on in this. I understand why it's $150 because it's kind of like a roller coaster of emotion. So first thing on the palate, I'm getting that caramel up front, but I'm getting that like rye spice in there as well, that herbaceousness. Um, it's got like a little bit of a floral K aspect in it, but not like a whole lot. But then going over the back of the palate, all that red fruit and that plum aspect from the port wine washes over the tongue. And then on the finish, it comes through with like this really, really good spice aspect, which is like phenomenal. Um, it's like a whole like evolution of flavors in here, but one sip was not enough, especially being the first sip and going in for a second time to get you guys some more notes.
Yeah, okay. So, um, the caramel's through there, but then also has like a nice bit of vanilla in there. That spice though, guys, that spice is very, very potent. Like, just like a nice, like, not quite anise, but like a lot of baking spices. Almost like you were making like a pumpkin pie, but you forgot to add the pumpkin and it's just all baking spices in there. Um, coming through on this, which is fantastic. But that, that pork finish comes through very heavily on this bottle. Like, I haven't had a single other finished bottle of whiskey in my life that had that much influence compared to this. This is like, you drink it and, and you smell it and you know for a fact that there's port barrel finish in here. I mean, not necessarily that it's port barrel finish, but like, it's very obviously a finished whiskey. The port influence on this particular bottle is like really heavy, but that's okay because port happens to be a wine that is just a bit stronger and a bit more on the side of bourbon lovers than it is on the side of wine lovers. I mean, there's a lot of oak in it. There's a lot of like nice heavy dark fruits and heavy notes in port wines usually. So it really does add a lot to this whiskey. Um, guys, it's really good. It's honestly fantastic. Going in for a third sip before I move on to the grading portion. But yeah, third sip, it's got all those notes that I said before, a little bit more of the same, but it also has this nice, like I'm getting like this nice cream, um, like a sweet cream on it as well on the palate, but like just kind of mixing in with that red fruitiness and that like plum and like dehydrated plum, I don't know, figs, like plums and figs, like it, it is really good. And honestly, I get the whole vibe of the bottle, a Midwinter Nights Dram, I will be drinking this bottle during the holidays like that is no doubt if i had a fireplace it would be me a bottle of a midwinter night's dram and a fire going honestly like this is just this is a mood it's a vibe it, it really rings true to the midwinter night um that is claiming to be so that being said guys i'm moving on to the grading portion before i do that it's time that we listen to a message from today's sponsor all right everybody so today's sponsor is none other than would you all know and love and it's Risk Mafia. Now guys, Risk Mafia is just a wonderful company that I personally love working with. They have just like some of the best looking watches I've seen on the market. And what they are is a subscription based company where you pay $40 a month every month, but a watch gets delivered to your door every single month. So basically you're getting a watch that's valued at between one and $500 sent to your door every single month for only $40 a month. You get to keep every single watch that they send to you. And honestly guys, all the watches are very cool. You don't get to pick them up, but that's okay because what they do is they send you different styles and different colors and stuff that eventually you will build up a collection and you'll have enough watches to match with every outfit that you're ever gonna wear out. And no matter what the occasion is, you guys are gonna have a watch that will match the outfit perfectly, and that's kind of the beauty of Wrist Mafia. Not only that, but for the low price of $40 a month, you guys are getting some high quality watches that are literally like worth way more than that. So like Wrist Mafia is a great company. I personally love them. As you guys can tell, I wear their watches all the time. It's just like every single day, if I'm not wearing a watch from Wrist Mafia, my, my fit feels incomplete. Like no matter what I'm doing, one of the watches that I have from them is gonna fit perfectly. Also with the holidays coming up guys, Wrist Mafia offers a three or six month subscription package that you can actually buy for someone else. So maybe that special someone in your life is really into watches. You can buy them a three month or a six month subscription ahead of time and you'll get the watches sent to their door every month for the next three to six months and they don't have to pay a dime because it was your gift to them. I think that's a really cool thing that they do, but honestly guys, check out Wrist Mafia. Like I said, there's a link in the description I do have a coupon code and it is a bourbon bar all one word all cash that'll save you $20 at the checkout so please use that code guys it'll help me out a lot also check out Wrist Mafia they help me out they're supporting me and so I hope you guys can support them too and you definitely get some really cool watches out of it so click the link in the description use my coupon code at checkout and join the mafia today all right, everybody, so now we're gonna move on to the grading portion, but before we do that, I would like to ask you guys to please hit the like button. Also, if you guys aren't subscribed, please do that. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I'm so close, but I'm getting scared that I'm not gonna be able to hit that mark, so please subscribe to the channel and tell everyone you know to subscribe too, because that would help me out an absolute 
ton. Also, I have a Patreon, guys. The link of the Patreon is down in the description, and I will be posting an after the episode exclusive of this here today. What I will be doing is be comparing this Midwinter Nights Dram, but I will also mix just a little bit of port wine with some of my other whiskeys and see if it's even comparable to this, because the amount of port influence on this bottle is amazing um but i'd be interested to see if you could get that kind of port influence by simply mixing the two together so that will be on the after the episode exclusive click the patreon link below you can either join the two dollar or five dollar tier um but that helps me out a ton because that helps me buy bottles like this so i can review them for you guys and yeah that being said it's time to move on to the grading portion and you all know how this works for the grading portion we have three grades there is the grade on the nose grade on the palate and the value for the money and what i do is add those together for a total score at the end of the grade now for the nose of this whiskey i honestly i love it the nose is like complex but sweet it's like something i really haven't smelled before but at the same time it reminds me of like a port wine and a lot of like rye spice it's just like a whole complete package nose so very good i'm gonna have to give it an 8.7 out of 10. all right guys on the palate of this whiskey honestly the palate did not disappoint with the nose coming in super strong with the port i really expected that port to be there on the palate and it was but i personally like port so with the port on the palate but also some of that nice spiciness coming from that rye but also a really nice like cream and caramel on the palate of this one i really thought the palate was something special as well and i'm gonna really and honestly, I'm going to have to give it a very similar score to the nose. Maybe just underneath, I'll go with an 8.5 out of 10. All right, guys, now it's time for value for the money. And this is a part that is going to be particularly hard with this bottle. Now, for those of you who don't know, there was a big price increase on this bottle this year. It is up at $150 compared to last year. I think it was $30 or $40 cheaper, um, closer to the $100, $120 range, somewhere in there. Um, but there's a big price jump on this bottle now. Is it worth it to me? Um, we'll find out after this grade. But basically, for $150, I'm going to have to give it a... Unfortunately, I'm going to have to give it a 7.7 .7 out of 10. And the reason I'm doing that, guys, is because this bottle is fantastic. If you guys like port wine, it's a definite buy. Because, like, the port wine influence of this and the rye influence of this, like, it is so good. Unfortunately... For $150, it needs to be that good for everybody. It needs to be like just something that's going to blow your socks off. That's a lot of money. And I actually think that's the most money I've spent on a bottle of whiskey. Now, I'm not disappointed that I bought it because I personally love it. But I think there's going to be a lot of people who are disappointed when they get this. And the amount of port influence that it has, they're just going to be kind of like meh on it and i definitely did see on the facebook groups that there's a lot of people passing this this year because of that price increase i think it was completely unnecessary i understand that people are flipping them but honestly like i just don't think it's worth paying the 150 dollars um when it could have been 120 or 110 last year uh but like i said i think it's worth it i bought it and i would buy it again um next year but uh, guys, it really is up to you. If you guys like port wine and you like port finished stuff, this is like super, super port influenced whiskey and I really think you should buy it because it's fantastic. But if you guys aren't that big of a fan of port finished stuff or not even a fan of finished whiskey in general, don't waste your money. I mean, this is $150 and unless you have the money lying around, it's not something that you guys are going to need but that is that. Right, everybody, so that makes the final score of this bottle to be an 8.3 out of 10. Now, that's not actually that. That's a pretty good score, but for an allocated bottle, I really expected it to be a little bit higher. There's a lot of people who absolutely rave about this bottle, and while I think it is really fantastic, it's not the best bottle on my shelf, and for $150, I think it should have been pretty close, but guys, that's gonna be the end of the video. If you guys liked it, please hit the like button. Also, I have a Patreon channel, like I said earlier. The link is in the description, but what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be having an after the episode exclusive only on Patreon, where I'll be comparing this bottle compared to a different whiskey mix with just a little bit of port wine. Um, what I'm gonna be doing is, because this is so port heavy, I really wanna see if just like a port mixed with bourbon kind of cocktail thing is going to be tasting somewhat like this or if it really needs to be finished in port barrels in order to get something like this so if you guys are interested in that video please 
go hit the Patreon up. It's only $2 or a $5 tier on Patreon, but either one will help me out greatly, guys. Um, I love doing this for you, but I'm definitely going to need to make some money in order to buy these bottles because $150 isn't cheap for whiskey. But that being said, guys, that's the end of the video. Please hit the like button. Also, leave a comment, guys, on the video. If you guys think that $150 is just too damn much to pay for a Midwinter Night's Dram. But like I said, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the next class.